Hi all, my name is Tom Rum. I'm doing a video on behalf of Nightlight 9 covering a bit of content to do with guilds on Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. For those who have watched the last video, you'd know that we've been looking at guilds. Now, this is interesting because, well, guilds dropped us 13 new weapons. Yes, not just one or two, like a normal banner, but 13 one for every single character and to say that it was a lot to go through when we first saw it it's an understatement it's wow some of the abilities they go into now i just want to go over really quickly how you get them through missions you will complete a certain amount of dailies and you will get access to four coins two from doing 200 stamina in solo content and two from doing 100 stamina in co-op content this will catch up each day now there are guild rankings which will be coming out as of tomorrow as of this video being made which is the 24th into the 25th depending on the region you are in the world and that will let us get extra coins how many more we don't know but seeing the cost of certain weapons increasing as they overboost, i do think it will be a substantial amount so let's have a look at some of these weapons as you can see we've got some very well named ones nail back we've got some interesting ones umbrella if you've played zach's event you would understand okay again for his favorite his favorite woman in the community and we just got some just some interesting named weapons rubber gun band gun a rifle that looks like a little toy pistol so let's go through them i want to note what every weapon has in common every weapon at ob10 comes with the same r ability points and the same basis so the top one is always a boost elemental resistance of one certain element so this one is for fire while for example yuffie is wind now there are different type of categories we have stuff like atb we have physical defense all we have let's see if i can find some extra magic defense all and i believe there may be one more but i cannot remember i think it may be just the only three that looks like it's only three so you can see we've got atb boost physical defense all magic defense all and we'll go through them as we go through the video nail bat nail bat is cloud's guild weapon you can see it works exactly like it did in final fantasy 7 remake being an incredibly strong weapon but it didn't let you do much now it does let you attach materia which it didn't let you do in the game but it trades it off by giving you a restriction on the weapon not letting you boost access to your limit or summon gauges when you use the skill disorder now that's 850 percent at ob0 yes ob0 is 850 percent ob10 it goes up to a whopping 1600 percent potency with a 10 percent crit that's amazing now you saw we have atb boost why is this so useful well because of atb boost if it's in the main hand it's 39 points because you get level 5 max at level 5 you have atb4 from the beginning of the fight that means you only have to wait for one atb to use this move and that is an instant hit that means that's going to do a lot of damage what have you got it in the backhand well if you got it in the backhand, it's going to be half points. That works out as being, it's going to knock it down to an even number of 38. So that's going to be 19 points. That means you get a level three. So at OB10, you have ATB plus three. Just from putting this in the back kit of any character. If you were to put two of them, you'd have ATB 3.5. So I'd actually only recommend only ever putting one of these weapons on a back kit of somebody or put it in the main hand if you really need the full amount 
Barrett, we got access to Rocket Punch. He comes with the Earth Resistance with P Defense All Allies. Yes, this is the defensive version of Limit Break Weapons. For those who don't know, Limit Break Weapons are weapons that give us either boost magic attack all, all allies, or magic attack all allies, or boost physical attack all allies. Again, defense version eventually is a max out, as you know, 39 points would be what is there, and at 35 points, everyone gets a 40% increase to their physical defense stat. This means that if you have no materia, no weapons, nothing that is boosting your stats, you're still going into the fight at physical defense stat 140. That's amazing, because understand that as of right now, Having a, a physical or magical defense stat of 140 is considered a very strong unit. It means that you've already prepped your kit out, and that's using materia. Now remember, it's 40% increase, so when you have that materia on and this boost, you're a walking tank. Physical defense tank, magic defense tank, and it's going to be interesting to see. Because what we've seen is you can equip both of these. On. So eventually, when these are OB10, at maxed out, yes, it's 120, so it, it's a lot. You will have access to 20% physical defense, 20% magical defense. Probably got a HP weapon on there just to keep you alive. You can just sit there and take damage, and that's going to be great for tank units moving forwards. Now, Jetfist, 270% potency, only a single target. But the lower your potency, it can go to triple damage. That brings this up to a 810% potency weapon for being at low HP. By the time it maxes out, it's 500%, bringing this up to a 1500% potency weapon with a conditional that you have to be low HP to use it. That is for this effect. It's going to be quite an interesting weapon to see in the community and probably will be used more for its physical defense stat than its actual jet fist until Barrett gets access to a reprieve stat which allows him to stay alive when taking critical hits. Or kill. Critical hits as in hits that will kill in the long term. Tifa with work gloves. We have got the Wall of Will ability. Now, the Wall of Will is a self buffing ability. It allows you to increase your P defense and your P attack for 25 seconds. Yeah, that's a lot. Now that's really interesting because it's also mid potency can go up to high potency and at ATB uh, at OB0 and ATB4 is already 25 seconds for a lot of weapons. This is the equivalent of something like an OB6 stat. Also, it comes with a little bit of healing. This is honestly really ridiculous. You should know that it also comes with ATB boost. So again, ATB4, eventually this goes up to ATB4. If you've got this in your main hand, which honestly, yeah, you really shouldn't. I would actually have it in your off hand. You might have just have to wait one ATB to have ATB three uh, start to bring you up to this and in four or five seconds you can have a physical attack boost a physical defense boost while being protected against ice you're just sat there and Tifa's is ready to start throwing hands again as you might notice it comes with some material slots nothing major i'm not going to bring up the material slots because they've all got usually the same slots except for a couple of weapons. But when it goes up to OB10, that's just when, or OB6 actually is really where it kind of shines. But OB10, it really shines. At OB6 is instant pot high, potency high. But at OB10, it's a 35% a 35 second duration with 11 seconds extension with a 13% heal. This allows you to keep you going throughout the fight. Umbrella. Umbrella is the ultimate cleansing weapon for uh, for Aerith. Why is it so powerful? Well, it removes entirely the full physical attack down. 
and magic attack down of a single ally with a 77% heal on OB0. That's, doesn't say potency, quality, it's just at ATB4, a flat, you've got five tiers down of physical attack down, well, one skill and it's removed. That's amazing for the community and honestly brings some more use to Aerith. This should be also added as, as this is a 77% potency to a single ally. This also comes with a cure rule. This is allows you, so if you want to put this in your main hand, you also can do healing as a Kuraga grade heal. Maybe granted it's only at 40% potency or minus 40%, but it's just by doing it that way, it makes life a little bit more interesting. When it gets up to o ATB, OT, OB10, apologies for mixing up the words, goes up to 108%, and OB6 is just 100%. That means that this weapon, honestly, does not need upgrading. If you wanted to take this to level 80, it's still gonna do all this. You might not have the full stats at 120, you can have 12 points, and you're gonna get 10% out of this. Um, I wouldn't personally recommend taking it to level 120, maybe 110 if you really want to. 80 is enough for a start. It's still gonna do this. This is an amazing kit for Aerith moving forwards. Headphones. Headphones are race weapon and you can kind of see where we're going. They've all got very similar effects and doing some interesting skills. This is 290% magical damage, but it also removes magical defense up. This means that when you're attacking with this skill, hey, guess what? You've now removed any buffs that prevent this damage not going through at its fullest effect. Now, 290% might not be a lot, but when it maxes out, it is 540%. I should maybe mention, magic defense removing isn't just a single target. Same with the damage. It's all enemies. So if you're fighting against a boss, such as the end of the first soldier, where it's one boss, three targets, three health pulls, this allows you to strip buffs off that target on all of them at the same time. Again, ice resistance, magic defense up. You understand how this works. Great for the great for the community, great for red, and great to add to your kit moving forwards. Yuffie. Yuffie comes with a weapon that is built around honestly doing it as quick as possible. This is a high of HP, double damage, 270% potency. But notice ATB4 with an ATB boost. So you know that when this is maxed out, back hit ATB3 straight at the back of you, or a hit gets out, 540% potency. By the time this comes out to max out, it's a 1000% potency. By the time you get this to OB10, even if it's not at 120, it's still going to do 1000% potency if Yuffie's health is at max. This is amazing for little bits of weapons and figuring out to get damage out really quickly. There are certain bosses that allow you to do hits with the first five seconds before they start putting up their buffs. It's actually just start ticking away and then working through damage as we go through. Kate Sith. Now, I couldn't help but have to talk about Kate Sith, most importantly because I'm sure Nightlight wouldn't let it go if I ignored his favorite unit. This comes with a physical attack increase to all allies again it's low potency and it goes up to mid for 12 seconds which is actually the number we kind of expect for potency buffs um with a five percent heal but if you're 20 percent lucky yeah if you get this 20 percent rate up you get a magic attack increase as well this is useful for po low potency going up to mid and eventually or just a flat mid potency, I believe that is as of OB6. This allows you to put it onto everybody in your allies. Now, where would this be useful? Well, this is the type of skill you use before a summon. 
summons take your physical attack and magic attack and merge them together also if your limit breaks really and it allows you to increase the stats both uh, both options and then you can use that to increase the total damage that comes out from your limit break or summon this isn't the strongest weapon and i will admit out of all the weapons of the guild it's probably one of the more weaker but that's because only because of this rate of 20 percent which is a very kate sif thing to do ice resistant magic defense all nothing really special just an extra circle materia next weapon vincent vincent comes with his usual limit grade ability but it's going to give you a little bit of two percent back 370 percent potency but here we go if it's debuffed the enemy is debuffed it's an extra 50 percent damage i'm not going to attempt to tell you what that is on the 370 because i will show how bad i am at maths but by the time you're ob10 you're going to be doing a thousand and fifty percent potency if the target has a debuff and getting a three percent extra to your limit gauge just for using an ability at atb4 again with atb boost this allows you to start prepping and it's usually a nice piece of kit it's actually nicer if you put this in the alternate hand and have this as atb3 because you could use a breach materia on someone else who's got atb3 and they can instantly put a debuff it doesn't matter if the debuff is useful for you as long as it debuffs the target and it sticks this weapon is going to do more damage how you're going to build that into your kit i'm sure people can find interesting ways and also comes with just pure physical attack buffs which is quite interesting just pure damage increased to weapons different material zach and his bouquet 210 percent damage comes with higher hp triple this brings it if you, if you are max hp it's a 630 uh, percent damage at ob10 this is 400 percent, meaning it is a 1200 percent potency with physical defense all it's quite nice you should note that a lot of these are also having crits i'm not really just going to talk about the crit rate because honestly i can't remember what the damage increase is i just know it's a nice amount at 1200 potency i'm sure people can find interesting ways to use this kit in the community well tree bow or tree bow whatever you want to call it this is sephiroth's weapon at 370 percent but this is where we get another unique ability effect the command gauge max and that's the diamond on the side of your screen in a combat which is either red for dps mode or blue for defensive mode will do 50 percent more damage if it is maxed out in red state now this is really nice because really we encourage players to be sat at max anyway for this type of combat and we should be at max for red as much as possible so that's gonna be interesting seeing going forward it doesn't do a lot of damage but at 50 percent increase that's still quite nice by the time we max it out again this is 700 percent meaning this is a thousand and fifty percent potency if you've got a maxed out gauge there aren't many weapons that can abuse the plus thousand percent potency without an elemental resistance uh, elemental weakness of some kind especially not with such a simple solution as of command gauge max a lot of these you've seen have had to be Oh, make sure they're at a certain HP. Make sure they're super they're buffed up and everything. Make sure they're doing a debuff. No, this one just cares that the command gauge is maxed out. Now, this is really interesting because we're going to jump and skip these two for the moment and go straight to Lucia's weapon because Lucia's weapon increases the command gauge. So if you're not maxed out, you can use Lucia and this weapon buff it up 20 percent and it's just instantly maxed out then which means that you can get your command gauge up quicker and let sephiroth do more damage this comes with 330 percent damage with physical non-elemental and eventually up to 620 percent and again it comes with physical defense all glenn and matt 
Let's go to the Glen first, and you'll see it's 370% potency. Again, coming with a skill that honestly I can't recommend at the moment until we have Reprieve. And we have Reprieve from other weapon and other units, allowing us to stay alive. Then we can really use this at 370. It can double when at low HP. I believe that is around 25% for maximum damage, bringing it up to 600 and 740% potency at OB0. And at OB10, it's a 1400% potency weapon. How are you going to use it? I don't know. I'm sure people can find interesting ways to use this kit. I would love to see people do some showcases and let us know how you come up with great ways to use these weapons. Nothing really major on the back end, but you can see what we're coming up with. The final weapon for this video, I do realize this video is lagging on, can't really help it. The length of the amount of weapons here is the foam sword for Matt, 330%. This one removes physical defense up. So this is the weapon that pairs with red. Red did a magical for all enemies, removing magic defense up. Matt is for single enemy this time, but it's physical with physical defense up removing. So not a lot of potency, but really you're using it for the second ability, which is there from the get go. By the time you get it to OB10, it's 620% potency. But again, like this is nice. You don't care about this. You care about the bottom ability. Probably the magic defense buff as well. This is even more important because magic defense buff tends to be you get magic enemies or magic damage against and oh, magic damage magic damage done to you on targets that are weak to physical and usually vice versa if we squeak back up to red it's still magic defense up so this one's interesting but mats is really where it's at because it's protecting a little bit of everything you may notice support unit has been given a cure all again this is quite nice because our support and our healer units were both given cure alls for the guild weapons. Now these cost 10 coins each, and as we get them, we'll get a bunch more as we get through events and guild battles. And as we increase the amount we buy of any one weapon, that weapon will increase in price. We don't have the exact numbers. I know some people have been able to find them on data mines. I've not been able to find it myself. If you can find it, let us know. We'll give it a like in the video and we'll let people know, hey, look, these are the numbers that you want to find. Tell me, what was your favorite weapon? Personally, I'm a bit of a glutton for the nail bat and umbrella, but I'm sure everybody here has a weapon that yeah, visually they like, they like, they like the name, or they might like the ability and what it comes with. I'd be interested to hear what you liked about it, because there was a lot there. Now, we have got more stuff coming to guilds. That is for the guild battle ranking. But as of this right now, the content comes out in a little over 12 hours. Now, if the community needs a video out for it, or if, depending if Knight can do it, then we'll see how, hopefully have a Nightlight video for it. If we can't, then we'll look to try and cover it for, you, uh, for him and get it up on his channel later. I hope that it's been clear and we've been able to go through it in a pretty fast speed and people have enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see improved. My name's Tom Rom. I've done the video on behalf of Nightlight9. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Take care.